Welcome, dear students, to Unit 6. Unit 6 is entitled, Tell Me, What Is It Like? In Unit 6, we will talk about the form, what, like, how to form questions, what is or are like, on page 46, and in the past tense, what was, where, like, also on page 46. We will talk about comparatives and superlatives, how to form comparatives and superlatives. On vocabulary, we will talk about synonyms and antonyms, page 52. And in everyday English, we will talk about directions and how to show the way or the road to a building, a station, or uh, whatsoever. Now, First, 6.1, we will talk about, as we said, what, like. كيف للسؤال عن حال الأشخاص والأشياء. كيف هو أو كيف هي أو كيف هم أو كيف كان أو كيف كانت أو كيف كانوا. How to form this formula? First, we use what plus verb to be plus subject plus like and question mark example what is what's what is your teacher this is the subject he or she like what's your teacher like كيف هو معلمك او كيف هي مدرستك كيف هي اي ما هي طباعها She's very patient. What are his parents like? كيف هم أهله؟ كيف هي شخصياتهم أو ما هي طباعهم؟ They are very kind. What was your holiday like? كيف كانت عطلتك؟ السؤال عن حال الأشياء ومن ضمنها holiday. What was it like? Wonderful. We swam a lot. The past of uh, the simple past of verb swim. Okay. What were the beaches like? Okay, but some were dirty. Even a sira. What plus verb to be plus subject plus like to start the question and hal ashkas wal ashya. Note, we don't use like in the answer. السؤال عندما يكون What is your teacher like? We don't use She's like patient. We only say She is patient. Okay? Now, why do we use this form? What like means Describe somebody or something. Tell me about them. I don't know anything about them. Like in this question is a preposition. Not a verb. What's Jim like? He's intelligent and kind. And he's got lovely blue eyes. هنا السؤال Like ليس بمعنى يحب ليس فعل وإنما بمعنى كيف هو أو صفه لي Okay? ولهذا يكون الجواب وصف He's intelligent and kind. He's got lovely blue eyes. Okay? وصف in the following sentences, like is a verb. What does Jim like? What does Jim like? تختلف عن what's Jim like? What's Jim like? هو صف لي Jim أو كيف هو Jim حالة شخصيته. What does Jim like? ماذا يحب Jim? He likes هنا like تتصرف كفعل. He likes motorbikes and playing tennis. Note, how is your father asked about health? It doesn't ask for a description. How is your father? He is very well, thank you. And when we say that what like is كيف أو للسؤال عن الحال لا نعني بالحال الصحة يوجد سؤال أو صيغة محددة للسؤال عن الصحة وهي how is your father? Okay, or how are you doing? Or how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. 
you should uh, ident identify both formulas, differentiate between them. Now, on grammar spot 1, match the questions and answers. Do you like Paris? First question. Second question. What is Paris like? Okay, here on first question, do you like Paris? Like acts as a verb. Hell to have Paris. What is Paris like? Here, like acts as, as a preposition. Swiftly Paris. Okay, for here Paris. Okay, so do you like Paris? We, the answer is yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. While the question, what is Paris like? It's beautiful. It's got lots of old buildings. Okay. So, number two. Which question in one here means tell me about Paris? Of course, it's the formula what's like. What's Paris like is the question that means tell me about Paris. Okay. Now, how is or what is like? How is, we use how is to ask about someone's general health or about the condition or state of something or how people experience something. First example, A. How is your mother these days? How is her general health? This means the answer, oh, she's fine, thanks. Example number two, how is your new car? To ask about things. The answer, wonderful. It is so much easier to drive than the old one. This is the asking with how. While if we ask with what is like, we use what is like to ask for a description. What's of? Of someone or something. Example, their appearance, their character, their behavior. What's What's like to استخدم للوصف للسؤال عن مظهر أو شخصية أو سلوك شيء ما أو شخص ما. Okay. Examples. What's your mother like? كيف هي طباعها? She's nice and kind, but she gets nervous rather quickly. Okay. Most of our mothers are. What's your new car like? It's red and small, but I like it very much. Okay, so how is to استخدم السؤال عن الصحة العامة أو حالة شيء ما? Okay, how is your new car? It's wonderful. بينما what's like to استخدم للسؤال عن وصف شيء أو شخص المظهر أو الشخصية أو السلوك. Okay, now we come to a key exercise. Tape script 6.2. It's on page 47 in your book. What's Chicago like? Okay. Now, you are asking Todd about Chicago. Complete the questions with is or are and the correct words from the box. Here is the box. The words are the restaurants, pe the people, the nightlife, the buildings. So, uh, the first question is an example. You, what is the weather? Because weather is single, singular. Sorry, what is the weather like? Well, Chicago is called the Windy City, and it really can be windy. So, the question is to use is or are حسب الفعل. وواحدة من الجمل الموجودة في الباك. Now, let's hear the solution. Tape script six point two. One. What's the weather like? Well, Chicago's called the Windy City, and it really can be windy. Two. What are the people like? They're very interesting. You meet people from all over the world. Three. What are the buildings like? A lot of them are very, very tall. The Sears Tower is 110 stories high. Four. What are the restaurants like? 
They're very good. You can find food from every country in the world. Five. What's the nightlife like? Oh, it's wonderful. There's lots to do in Chicago. Now, the uh, six point two is an exercise on how to use the formula "What's like?" Okay. Now, we come to six point two: comparative and superlative adjectives. صيغة التفضيل والمقارنة. Okay. Form. Look at the chart. Now, uh, we have four types of comparatives and superlatives. We have short adjectives. The short adju adjectives are the one with one syllable. مقطع واحد صوتي. Cheap. Small. Big. مقطع صوتي واحد. With one syllable. Uh, we uh, form comparative by adding ER. Cheaper. Smaller. Bigger. There's a note on uh, bigger. We will say it later on. Okay. Superlatives, we add EST to the adjective. Cheapest, smallest, biggest. Okay. The second type is adjectives that end in Y as funny, early, heavy. We omit the Y and add I, then ER in comparative. Funnier, earlier, heavier. In superlative, we also omit the Y, نحذف ال Y, we put I, then EST. Funniest, earliest, heaviest. Okay? Adjectives with two syllables or more. اللي بيها مقطعين صوتية أو أكثر. Careful. Two syllables. Careful. Careful. Bow. Ring. X. Pen. Sieve. Three. Interesting. Okay? We form comparative by adding the word more before the adjective. We don't change the word. We add more. Careful, more careful. Boring, more boring. Sorry, this is wrong. Not buying. Boring. Expensive, more expensive. Interesting, more interesting. And the superlative, we add most before of the adjective. Careful, most careful. The most careful. We said... Uh, on the last units we that we add the the article the to the superlative uh, degree the most careful he is the most careful person in the world most boring most expensive most interesting okay we also have irregular adjectives far we said that we add er to normal adjectives but in irregular adjectives, the whole word changes, okay? Far becomes further or farther. Further. In superlative, furthest. Okay? The writing changes. Good. Better. Best. The best. Bad. Worse. Worst. The worst. We said we have a note about big. Why we doubled the last letter. Short adjectives with one vowel plus one consonant. Adjectives اللي مقطع واحد بيها مقطع صوت صحيح صوت علة. We double the with double consonant. Okay, we double the consonant. Hot, hotter. Hottest. Fat, fatter, fattest. Big, bigger, biggest. Okay. أضعف الحرف الأخير أو الصوت الصحيح. Okay. And this you have to learn it by heart. Now, than is often used after a comparative adjective. Example, 
I'm younger than Barbara لأن هي صيغة مقارنة فذان من I'm younger than Barbara أنا أصغر من Barbara okay Barbara's more is more is more intelligent than Sarah okay than تستخدم مع صيغة المقارنة the comparative much can can come before the comparative to give emphasis she's much nicer than her sister much تأتي مع صيغة المقارنة قبلها للدلالة على التأكيد to give emphasis التشديد عليها she's much nicer than her sister I emphasized nicer is Tokyo much more modern than London okay is much is used for emphasis there is used as we said before before superlative adjectives he is the funniest boy in the class تأتي مع صيغة التفضيل أقصى درجات المقارنة اللي تأتي EST تأتي معها the الأكثر okay which is the tallest building in the world الأطول الأفضل okay we say it in Arabic الأكبر عمرا الأقل حجما الأسرع okay there is also a useful uh, video on YouTube here is the link below if I, anyone wants to dig deeper into the subject okay uh, now let's move on uh, we use the comparatives to compare one thing person or action with another صيغة التفضيل العفو صيغة المقارنة comparative أستخدمها للمقارنة بين بين اثنين شيئين شخصين أو فعلين she's taller than me لماذا نستخدم ذان يعني مقارنة إنها أطول مني London's is more expensive than Rome okay two we use superlatives أقصى درجات المقارنة to compare somebody or something with the whole group She's the tallest in the class. نقارن شيء أو شخص أو حدث مع مجموعة. She's the tallest in the class. هي الأطول في الصف بين مثيلاتها. It's the most expensive hotel in the world. الأغلى في العالم. Okay. Three. As as صيغة shows that something is the same or equal. We talked about this, uh, the comparative and superlative. Now we talk about the uh, things. We compare things on equal level. We use the formula as, as. Jim is, this is, is, Jim's as tall as Peter. Okay? This is equality or the sameness. على نفس المستوى. أيضا مقارنة لكن ليس أفضل من أو اختلاف درجات وإنما للمساواة أو المقارنة على نفس المستوى. Jim is as tall as Peter. They have the same height. I am as worried as you are. أنا قلق مثلك. Okay. Not no not as or so as shows that something isn't the same or equal. هنا هدا صيغة النفي the negative of the first formula okay she isn't is not as tall as her mother هنا أيضا صيغة مق... نفي صيغة المقارنة بين uh, شيئين على نفس المستوى okay she is tall she is as tall as her mother عندما أنفيها أقول she isn't as tall as her mother okay my car wasn't so expensive as yours okay أقدر أستخدم as أو so as not as not so as okay كما في المثالين there's also another uh, useful video on YouTube for those who would like to dig deeper into the subject you should uh, memorize these notes by heart now we come to 
uh, an important uh, exercise. On grammar spot 1, what are the comparative and superlative forms of the following adjectives? What are the rules? Okay, they divide into four groups, A, B, C, D. We will see why, because we already explained that there are four kinds of uh, uh, adjectives. Small, cold, near, they are uh, short adjectives with one uh, syllable. Sh small, cold, near. Here is the uh, solution. I put it for you. Okay, small, smaller, smallest, cold, colder, coldest, near, nearer, nearest. Okay, on group B, they are the uh, short adjectives with one vowel and one consonant. We said that we will double the consonant or the last letter. Big becomes bigger, biggest. Hot becomes hotter, double T, hottest. Wet becomes wetter, double T, wettest, okay? C, we have B, Z, more than one syllable, adjectives with more than one syllable. Noi, Z, dry, okay? Uh, sorry, the, these the ones are with, they end with Y, so we omit the Y and add I, E, R, or I, E, S. Busy, busier, busiest, noisy, noisier, noisiest. Dry, drier, driest. Okay, al ekthar jafafan. The last group D is the one with more than one syllable. Beautiful. Interesting. Ik sai ting. Okay. So we add more and most. More beautiful. The most beautiful. More interesting. The most interesting. More exciting, the most exciting. It's also a key exercise. Number two, these adjectives are irregular. What are the comparative and superlative forms? These are the most famous irregular adjectives in uh, comparatives and superlatives. Far, further, furthest, we said. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Okay, here are the question and here are the answers. You should memorize them by heart. Moving on. On page 47, you have tape script 6.3. It is uh, an exercise about imperatives and superlatives. A text about Melbourne comparing it to Dubai. Okay. Here is what you see in your book. And here is the answer. I put it for you. Okay. Now, uh, let's listen to the tape script. Pay attention. I underlined the uh, solution for this uh, key exercise. Pay attention. Tape script 6.3. Melbourne was interesting. But for me, Paris was more interesting than Melbourne. And in some ways, Dubai was the most interesting of all, because it was so different from any other place I know. It was also the hottest, driest, and most modern. It was hot in Melbourne, but not as hot as in Dubai. Dubai was much hotter. Melbourne is much older than Dubai, but not as old as Paris. Paris was the oldest city I visited, but it has some great modern buildings, too. It was the most romantic place. I loved it. As you can see here, uh, the uh, person who was talking about uh, Melbourne, Paris, and Dubai, comparing between them, he said Paris was more interesting. Here is a uh, uh, comparative. More interesting than, we said, we use than to compare between two things. Okay. Dubai was the most, this is the superlative the most interesting okay now why the hottest also superlative superlative the driest and mo the most modern okay now he said uh, we said about using as as to compare between things on equal level uh, melbourne uh, it was hot in melbourne but not as hot as 
in Dubai, okay? Dubai was much hotter. We said we use much to emphasize the adjective, okay? Melbourne is much older, okay, than, okay? Not as old as, okay? Dubai, not as old as Paris, okay? Paris was the most romantic, okay? This is an exercise. Should pay attention to it on how to use comparatives and superlatives. Now, on page 49, you have uh, also an important exercise about comparatives and superlatives. The, the topic is very important. Uh, correct the sentences. This is how you may have the question in your exam. Here is the question and here is the solution. Okay. One, he is more older than he looks. This is a wrong sentence. Okay. We can't use more with older. This is a short adjective. We only use older. He's older than he looks. Okay. Jessica as tall than. No, we use as as. Okay. Jessica is as tall as. Okay. I underlined the mistake and put the right answer in a green rectangular. Okay. What does Hong Kong like? No, we use what is Hong Kong like. Okay. Trains in India are more crowded than. Of course, it's wrong. We use than. Okay. Al Azhar University in Cairo is oldest university in the world. We should use the with the superlative uh, degree. Al Azhar University in Cairo is the oldest university in the world. Okay. He isn't as intelligent than. It's wrong. We should use as intelligent as. Okay. This is more hard. Of course not. It's wrong. It's harder without more. Who is the most rich? Most. We should use the superlatives uh, here. We don't have. We don't have to use most. The richest. Okay. Rich. Richer. Richest. Uh, everything is more cheap. Of course not. Cheaper. Okay. Uh, Rome was hotter that. Of course not. Rome was hotter than. Okay. I misplaced the rectangular. It's here. Hotter than. Okay. It's also an exercise. You see how many exercises are about superlatives and comparative because it's an important topic. Now. We come to reading and speaking on page 15. There is a text about uh, two millionaires. You, you may uh, see it in your book. The uh, important thing about this uh, topic is this exercise. Match the verbs and nouns. Many of them are to do with money. Okay? Af'alu uh, asma. ترتبط مع بعضها وترتبط بالماء ممكن. Okay. ف... Verbs are in the column one, the first column, and the second column has the nouns. Okay. They are uh, put in a random order by a, a bank account, spoiled poverty. This is not the right order. So I put the right order here. By stocks and shares. So the expression is يشتري أسهم وسندات. I gave you the meaning also, so you can memorize them easily. Easily. Spoil a child. يفسد طفلاً. بالدلال. Spoil a child. Wear ragged clothes. يرتدي ثياباً بالية. Ragged clothes. Open a bank account. يفتح حساباً مصرفياً. Live in poverty. يعيش في فقر. Inherit a lot of money from someone. يَرِثُ مَالًا كَثِيرًا مِنْ شَخْصٍ مَا Okay. Make a will. يضع وصية. ليس يصنع وصية. يضع وصية. This is also, uh, as we said, a collocation or uh, as we uh, discussed in Unit 4, Unit 5, sorry, the uh, hot verbs. 
the expression with verb they have little meaning. Make a will. Okay, يضع yeah, وصية. Arrest a thief. يقبض على لص. Invest a lot of money in something. يستثمر الكثير من المال في شيء ما. Okay. Imputate. I think for many of you this uh, verb is new. Imputate. يبتر. يبتر عضوا ما. Imputate a leg. يبتر رجل. Okay. Now, the verbs uh, and nouns that have to do with uh, money are buy, stocks and shares, open a bank account, inherit a lot of money from someone, make a will, invest a lot of money in something. Okay. This is an exercise for your uh, knowledge and vocabulary. This is also an important one. Now, on vocabulary, on page 52, we have an important subject also. Synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms and muradifat. Antonyms and mudadat or العكس, the opposite. Synonyms. We often use synonyms in conversation because we don't want to repeat words. You can see in the picture, someone says, it's a lovely day today. The other says, want to emphasize and agree with him. Yes, it's really beautiful. He did not repeat the word lovely, but he uh, gave a synonym. Lovely, beautiful. Okay, they are synonyms. They mean uh, jamil or nice. Okay. In antonyms, we can also use antonyms in conversation to avoid repetition repeating words okay how see in the example what an awful meal yes it wasn't very nice was it wasn't very nice means awful okay so you can give the opposite of a word by adding not Okay, by adding negative to the verb, by negating the verb. And the في الفعل بجملة ما فأنت تعطي المعنى المضاد للجملة التي قبلها. What an awful meal! It wasn't very nice. The same meaning. إنها كانت وجبة مريعة. Okay, أو سيئة. But here the form is more polite. It wasn't very nice. Uh, the person did not say it was awful. Uh, يعني ها أكو تخفيف بال 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 بالحديث بطريقة مهذبة أكثر. It wasn't very nice. Okay. لأن يعني awful معناها أقوى مريعة كانت الوجبة. Okay. Now we often use synonyms in conversation. Don't want to when when you don't want to repeat words. Okay. We said that. Uh, Taste script six point eight. An important exercise also. Complete the conversations using an adjective of similar meaning from the box. Similar means you know, synonyms. Okay? When he says use similar adjectives, similar means synonyms. Okay? So you should know that fed up, generous, brilliant, messy, modern, wealthy are words. You should. Um, okay. Uh, see their uh, synonyms or similar adjectives to them in the sentences. Here are the solution words. Here in this column, I put the solution in front of every uh, sentence. Uh, let's uh, say, Mary's family is very rich. Well, I know her uncle was very what? The synonym of very rich is wealthy. Okay. Ferry. Balrithara. Okay, wealthy. Very rich. فهكذا يكون الحال بالنسبة لبقية ال الجمل. Let's listen to the solution. Okay. Tape script six point eight. One. Mary's family is very rich. Well, I knew her uncle was very wealthy. 
too. Look at all these new buildings. Yes, Paris is much more modern than I expected. Three. Wasn't that film wonderful? Yes, it was brilliant. Wonderful, brilliant. Four. George doesn't earn much money, but he's so kind. He is, isn't he? He's one of the most generous people I know. Five. So generous. Anne's bedroom's really untidy again. Is it? I told her it was messy yesterday, and she promised to clean it. Messy, untidy. Six. I'm bored with this lesson. I know. I'm really fed up with it too. Bored with, fed up with. Okay. You should memorize these also by heart. Now, uh, also on page 52, you have another exercise. He said match the following adjectives with their two opposites. On the uh, uh, previous uh, exercise, we said match with adjective of similar meaning. On the second uh, exercise, he said match with the opposite. Okay? This is antonyms. So, we have the same box from the exercise number one. So, if someone is interested, the opposite of interested is, as in exercise number one, bored and fed up. I uh, wrote down the solution for you. Okay? Horrible, the opposite is wonderful and brilliant. These are synonyms. Okay. Al Amud al Thani wa Thalith here. Muradifat. Lakin here, Akis Ma'al Amud al Awal. Okay. Mean. Doesn't earn much money or generous. Okay. Kind or generous. Old, new, modern. Poor, akisha rich or wealthy. Tidy, akisha untidy and messy. Okay? You should also memorize these by heart. Now, sometimes it is more polite to use not very and an opposite adjective as we saw in the, uh, in the picture here. Okay, the woman did not say awful and uh, uh, the same thing, did not repeat the word awful. She said not very nice. Okay, now, sometimes it is more polite to use not very and an opposite adjective. Tom is so short. Well, he's not very tall. He did not repeat the word short but used a more polite way in saying that he is short. They said that he's not very tall. Okay? Uh, it's the same in Arabic when we say about someone هو قصيروني كلش فالشخص المقابل يقول لا هو مو قصيروني كلش يعني هو مو كلش طويل طريقة مهذبة أخف وطأة للتعبير عن شيء ما Okay? He always wears such dirty clothes. They certainly aren't very clean. They تعود على clothes, okay? They certainly aren't very clean. فنستخدم not very مع ad uh, opposite adjective to be more polite in expressing something. Now, uh, on page 52, there is the tape script 6.9. Reply to these sentences. Be more polite. So you should use not very with opposite adjective. Okay, here are the sentences. Here is the solution. I wrote it down for you. Okay, now let's listen to it. Tape script 6.9. 1. London's such an expensive city. Well, it's not very cheap. 2. Paul and Sue are so mean. They're certainly not very generous. 3. Their house is always so messy. Hmm, it's not very tidy. Four. Their children are so noisy. Yes, they're certainly not very quiet. 
Five. John looks so miserable. Hmm. He's not very happy. Six. His sister's so stupid. Well, she's certainly not very clever. So you listen to the solution. Expensive. The opposite is the more polite one. Not very cheap. Expensive yeah, because he's cheap. Okay. Like in a more polite way of saying it, not very cheap. Mean, not very generous. Messy, not very tidy. Okay. Noisy, not very quiet. Miserable, not very happy. Stupid, not very clever. Okay. This is also an important exercise. Now, we come to everyday English on page 53, uh, talking about directions. Uh, here, number one, look at the map of Cheswood and find these things, okay, these locations. A farm, a wood, a pond, a path, a hill, a river, a bridge, a gate. Uh, you will see this drawing on your book, in your PDF book, okay. هاي الصفحة اللي حتشوفوها هيجي بكتابكم. Okay. Now. Uh, لو أردنا أن uh, نطلع شخصا على مثلا ال ال المكان. يسألنا شخص أنه أنا أريد أذهب للمكان الفلاني. فنريد ندليه الاتجاه. Okay. Here if we, for example, if we say uh, we want to go to the hill. Okay. إذا شخص هنا نواقف سألك you, you take the road you walk up the road okay take uh, turn right okay walk ahead cross the bridge okay and then to the left you will find the hill okay uh, for example if we want to find the uh, school you say walk along the road of the lower road Walk up the lower road. إذا هنا الشخص ده يسأل بنقول له walk up the lower road and take the left turn, the first on Silver Street. Okay. تأخذ أول سيارة على اليسار في شارع Silver. The school is on your right. Okay. This is how you give directions. So when giving directions, we use some uh, expressions okay go straight on turn left or right into street okay go along go up go down street take the first or second road on the left or right okay اتجه الى الشارع الاول او الثاني او الثالث ايا كان الرقم على اليمين او على اليسار it's on the left right location المكان يقع على اليمين او على اليسار it's opposite to the school يقع مقابل opposite هنا مو عكس مقابل مثلا المدرسه it's near the hospital هذا المكان بالقرب من المستشفى it's next to the hospital مباشرة مجاور لي المستشفى next to يعني مجاور إلى ضبط بقربة between the hospital and the library هذا المكان يقع بين المستشفى والمكتبة the school is at the end of the road تقع المدرسة في نهاية الشارع on the hill at the top of the hill around the corner حول ال في المنعطف okay behind the school مثلا in front of the shop okay فهاي كلها استخدامات directions ممكن استخدمها عندما اعطي uh, توجيهات للاتجاهات now uh, we have tape script 6.10 giving directions okay uh, number 4 on page 53 complete the directions from Chesswood farm ال, ال, the drawing we saw earlier, 
Okay. Complete the direction from Chesswood Farm to the school with the prepositions in the box. Look at the map to help you. Fi uh, al box the prepositions here. We use them to complete this text. You go. Here is the solution. I wrote it down for you now, and we can also hear it here now. عرفنا شنو السؤال أكمل الاتجاهات باستخدام هذه الكلمات prepositions أعرف الجر الموجودة في ال box okay now let's listen to the solution tape script six point ten you go down the path past the pond over the bridge and out of the gate then you go across the road and take the path through the wood when you come out of the wood. You walk up the path and go across the road. It takes five minutes. To solve this question, you should uh, see the map. You go down the path, past the pond. Okay, here is the pond. To go to the farm, you should pass the. Uh, sorry. Uh, Go down the path, pass the pond, over the bridge. So if you see the uh, map, go down the path, pass the pond, over the over the bridge. Okay. Wahakada. So I gave you the expressions to use in giving directions. This is an exercise. Okay. If I want to give you a uh, uh, such thing in the exam, I should give you, for a sentence or a small text. For example, I should tell you that my school is between the hospital and the shop. Okay, it is on the left uh, to of the road. On the left of the road, my house lies on the right. So. Uh, so how to get from my house to the school okay you say take uh, you will cross the street okay and uh, the school is between the hospital and the shop okay so uh, show give directions to Jim show him how to get to the library the library is uh, on the left on Silver Street. Okay, find that gulle. Walk along the street, uh, turn left, and uh, you, s you can see the library in, uh, in Silver Street. She basaid then. Okay, this is also how to use it in your uh, everyday English when you uh, communicate with uh, a native speaker. Now, this was the last topic of Unit 6. Thank you very much for your attention, and we will see you in the next unit.